Um, thanks for coming here. Um, 10 or 15 years ago, you had some views on HIV and AIDS that were very controversial. So they still you, are, yeah. You know, where do you stand on well, that? Well, what I've, I've come to the conclusion for over a long period of time, and, and a lot more study and reading than most people would sort of give me credit for, because they think, get out of my field, you know. They think it's their field and that nobody else could possibly have anything to do with it. It's occurred to me, and, and, and I think the retroviruses are going to end up a lot of times being like this, that the, the thing that causes AIDS is not a species of the retroviridae. It's the whole genus. And it's the way that, that it's, it's, there's some members of the genus that are much more effective at doing it than others, but it isn't caused by one like HIV-1, that was what, that somebody sequenced that and then they found, hey, every time we find this, every other patient is a slightly different sequence. And that never struck home in people like Bob Gallo's mind. And stuff, that we're not dealing with a species here. We're dealing with, and if you look at the properties of the retroviridae, the, the, the genus to which the HIV virus belongs, the way it works is it, it goes in and it, it, it's, it's a DNA thing. It like sticks its DNA into lymphocytes, and then the DNA just sits in there until that lymphocyte starts to divide itself rapidly. And then the DNA starts making protein, or RNA and then protein, and then making particles that are infectious. And, and that's it's a cyclic kind of a phenomenon. It goes around, it goes down, it infects new cells, and it starts doing that. But it doesn't immediately start doing anything. It goes into the cell and waits until that cell starts to divide rapidly. So what that translates to in the immune system is that once a, 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 a sequence, because those sequences mutate really fast, because reverse transcriptase is involved in their replication, and, and that makes mistakes at 100,000 times more often than like DNA polymerase does. So there's a real, th that genus is very, very heterogeneous inside of it. And, and what's happening is you get a, a sequence that, that starts replicating itself. It makes some mistakes. It, it, it infects other cells. It sits there and waits. Most of the time, it's just a piece of DNA. It's ridiculous to fight it at the, only at the time when it's proteins and it's infectious particles. That's what they do. I mean, all the ret retroviral drugs are, can only be direct, they only are effective against the, the RNA containing protein form of, of, the, of the disease, and they can only just do so much. They'll, they'll, they'll modify the, the rate at which it happens, but the real problem is that you've got lymphocytes that have all these sequences in them that are sitting there waiting their, it, to their good time. When the, when the lymphocyte starts reproducing itself rapidly, they reproduce. When it's not, they don't. So you can't kill it by stopping it at the protein level. You can kill it, its action. You can stop it from, from taking action right now, but it's still got the DNA sequence in, in, in a bunch of lymphocytes. So until we figure out how to deal with that problem, I don't think we'll have a, a useful drug against any of the retroviral. They're coming up with new ones. There's new things that have been blamed on retroviruses. And the very first thing that people have to recognize when dealing with them, that they're dealing with the whole, the, they're not just dealing with one single thing, like one sequence is not, just because you can only detect that one. See that, you know, the, there aren't any nice tests for retrovirity in general. There aren't any tests, so because I could, I, you could give them to people and say, "My God, people have got all kinds of retroviruses," but they only have a very specific test for the proteins that are involved in, like, in HIV. So they they can tell you whether you got that, but they can't tell you whether you got a whole lot of related things, and that's really the difference between people that get sick and people that don't. Is that people that get sick have a whole lot of different versions. Of the whole thing. This is my feeling about it, and, and it's not just, it's not an unsupported kind of feeling. It's from just looking at the data. More and more data is coming to forward that that supports that idea that it's not just HIV as originally defined by Bob Gallo and and Luc Montagnier. It's a whole bunch of of things, and they're all they're retroviral, but they don't, don't have the same sequence. And just killing one particular little cluster of those guys is not going to stop the disease. <laughs>